So this is a super short video to show you how to use Desmos to find the mean and standard deviation. Um, I'm going to keep the data sets pretty small, so that'll be really quick and easy to do. So let's start with this one. Um, I have this data set 14, 27, 84, 31, 105, and 66. And I'm going to pop over to Desmos and we're going to find the mean and standard deviation. Okay, so here's Desmos. If you're not familiar with Desmos, you can just do a little Google search and Desmos will come up. What you want to be on is the scientific calculator on the math tools. It has a bunch of different types, but I just want to use scientific right now. In the scientific, you can see regular numbers here, but what you want to click on is function, and this function is where you will find the mean. As soon as you pop the mean, it has a parenthesis. It's waiting for the data to be put in. So let's put in what I said, 14. Um, you had a comma in between, so 27, 84, 31, 105, and then 66. I can close the parenthesis if you want to, but there's our 54.5, so now you have the mean. Super simple, you don't have to do any work. It also has standard deviation right beside the mean, and I think this is really a nice little trick, is just go back up to where it said mean, so I'm just putting my mouse there, um, and I'm going back and I'm removing that word mean, and I'm going to click standard deviation. It does pop a second parenthesis, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And there's my standard deviation of 36.05967277. It'll say what you should round it to. So super easy that you only have to enter the data set one time, and you can get both the mean and standard deviation. Let's do it again. So I wanted to do one with decimals just to say still easy. So I have 2.35, 4.17, 7.82, 9.11, and 6.03. Again, pop back over to Desmos. Okay. So here we are back in Desmos. So one more time in Desmos, I'm clicking on the mean. I'm going to type in my data, 2.35, 4.17, 7.82, 9.11, and 6.03. There's my mean of 5.896. Um, again, we said we can be super lazy and go over and just delete that word mean and then go to the standard deviation. Remember to pick the one that says STDEV. Do not pick the one with the P. That's for population. We're only looking at a sample. So we hit on there. We take away the extra parenthesis. We have our 2.72, which is good enough for me. Um, that is our standard deviation. So nice and easy.